In today's video, I'll be comparing the blood pressure measurements of the Galaxy Watch 5 with a professional blood pressure monitor, commonly used by doctors. BP tracking is the standout feature of the Samsung Galaxy Watches, which sets them apart from other major brands like Apple. Even the older Galaxy Watch 4 offers this functionality, and it's likely that newer models like the Galaxy Watch 7 will have even greater accuracy. Galaxy Watches uses a photoplethysmogram or a PPG sensor to measure blood pressure, while traditional blood pressure monitors rely on oscillometric method. The PPG sensor works by emitting light through the skin to detect changes in blood volume within the veins. Sensors on the skin then measure the amount of light absorbed and reflected by the blood and tissue. The resulting voltage signal is directly proportional to the blood flow through the vessels. On the other hand, the oscillometric method involves wrapping a cuff around the arm, which is inflated to temporarily block the brachial artery. As the cuff slowly deflates, it creates oscillations that are measured by the device to determine blood pressure. Let's see how the Galaxy Watch 5 compares in accuracy to the professional monitor. To compare my blood pressure readings, first I need to calibrate the watch. So I open the Samsung Health app and go to the blood pressure option. First, I need to fit the blood pressure cuff on the arm opposite to the one I'm wearing the watch in. After putting it on, I tap on next and the health app prompts me to start the blood pressure monitor. I start the monitor and the watch begins measuring my blood pressure automatically. While the measurement is in progress, on both the watch and the monitor, I need to sit still and relax. It takes a bit of time. Once the watch finishes the measurement, I need to enter the reading from the blood pressure monitor into the app for calibration. I enter the details on my phone. That completes the second step. And now I'm proceeding to the final step to complete the calibration. I need to repeat this process, so I do it again and finish the calibration by entering the details. Now I can measure my blood pressure directly on the watch. I tap the measure button and the watch starts the measurement. After it's done, I get the readings. Let's compare the readings from the watch with the blood pressure monitor. On the Galaxy Watch, I get a systolic reading of 104mm per mercury, while the monitor shows 117mm mercury, a big difference of 13 points. For the diastolic reading, the watch shows 65mm mercury and the monitor reads 57mm mercury, an 8 point difference. The heart rate, however, is the same on both devices at 60 BPM. This is a significant difference in the blood pressure readings, so I'm going to try again. In the second test, the Galaxy Watch 5 gave me a systolic reading of 103mm mercury, while the blood pressure monitor showed 113mm mercury, a difference of 10 points. For the diastolic reading, the watch shows 64mm mercury, but the BP monitor showed 56mm mercury, an 8 point difference. This time, the watch showed a heart rate of 60 BPM, while the blood pressure monitor recorded 61 BPM. I noticed a significant difference in the blood pressure readings between my Galaxy Watch 5 and a standard blood pressure monitor. The watch consistently showed different systolic and dysystolic values by 8 to 10 points. While the heart rate readings are almost identical, the variance in blood pressure is concerning. It makes me question the accuracy of the watch for BP monitoring. I think it's essential to rely on a dedicated blood pressure monitor for more accurate readings, especially if you have health concerns. That's it in today's video. What is your thought on it? Tell me in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe to Wearholic. If you have any questions or queries, drop them in the comments below. I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.